Hey guys, it's Irene here and today I'm going to do another Photoshop tutorial and I'm just going to show you guys how to use gradient maps today. I recently discovered how to use them for myself and it's very easy, it's almost like using Instagram filters and yeah, let's just get started. I have the picture here that I took on a recent photo shoot with this beautiful model. This is just straight out of camera and I'm gonna start with just fixing up the skin a little bit and also I'm gonna start with duplicating the layer I just made a duplicate layer action for myself because it's a lot easier and I can just make it in one click I have a video on how to make Photoshop actions I will link it down below if you guys would like to check it out and all I use to fix the skin is the patch tool it's right over here so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna switch to my tablet it's a lot easier for me to edit with the tablet and all I do is circle up the area that I don't like and then shift it to the side where the skin is clear that's all you do so I'm probably gonna speed this up and I'll show you guys the finished result Alright, so I wanted the picture to be really, really soft, so I'm going to do another technique that I use for um, retouching the skin. It's very, very easy. So I'm going to take my pipette tool, or it's like a sampling tool, and I'm going to sample some skin over here, and it's pretty light, and this is where it hits the top of the cheekbone. So now I'm going to take just a paintbrush, I'm using a soft rounded brush, I'm going to go a little bit smaller like that and if you are not using a tablet I would definitely lower the opacity to maybe like 30 but I am using a tablet so it applies with the pressure that I apply to it to the pen so uh, I don't need to lower my opacity and it's gonna apply very softly so I'm just applying it to the top right here you can see it just blurs everything really nicely now I'm gonna sample this skin right here on her nose and do the same thing, just gonna make the brush a little bit smaller just kinda dab it on top just softens everything up and makes the skin super blurry and um, really flawless just make sure you don't overuse this because it might end up looking extremely fake and that's something we don't really want And I usually back up a little bit just to see what it's gonna look like and then just kind of comparing this is before and this is the after okay so I'm pretty happy with how that looks so another thing that I really like to do is to make the hair a little bit more voluminous I'm gonna go into filter and liquify for that and the brush is pretty nice size I like it kind of big so it stretches out the hair really nice and you can just start kind of pulling it to the sides just like so again here um, just mainly try not to overdo it because it might look a little bit fake so a little goes a long way So this was the before and after. So I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna leave it like that and we're just gonna start with the gradient maps. So to apply your gradient map you can go right over here there's this little button you can click on it and then you will choose the gradient map. Don't choose just the gradient but the gradient map you can press on it and it was set on some kind of weird gradient map I guess I would want this but you will double click on this stripe right here and it will take you to all sorts of different gradient maps that you can make and here are some of the few ones that I was making and I saved them on my computer 
um, we might be using this one or this one something pink and yellow I think I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna show you guys how to make them so you will probably start off with something like this on your computer um, because they have some of them gradients that are just by default there so you can see over here it just shows the gradient map a little bit better and you can click double click on this little color and it gets you to the color picker and you can pick whatever color you like so we're gonna go to the pink and we're gonna go pretty pastel pink probably like this you can go definitely a lot darker and this will affect all of your shadows so you can see in the picture all of the shadows became pink that's how it all works uh, the color to the left side is your shadows and the color to the right side are your highlights so I want all of the shadows to become more pinky so or pink so I'm gonna choose pink I'm gonna just press ok here and we're gonna go with the yellow color uh, again something kind of pastel maybe a little bit darker maybe like like that's too green Maybe something peachy, almost. Okay, okay, this is perfect. I love this one. So you can press OK, and if you want to save this particular gradient for your future uh, pictures, you can just press over here New, and it just adds the gradient here. So as you can see, I made it quite brighter than the one that I had before and I think I just like the one before that I made so I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna press OK so it looks pretty crazy right now but we're gonna definitely change that so you can change over here instead of normal to few things so you can definitely play around with different types of layers and how to use them and stuff like that uh, my favorite is multiply and soft light and we're gonna be do uh, we're gonna be using soft light today just because we want to create something very light and very pretty very soft so we're definitely gonna use soft light but multiply is another one that I really really like okay so I'm gonna choose soft light and as you can see this was the before and after it's still a little bit too much for me so I'm gonna go down on the opacity and kinda I guess I'm gonna leave it at 36 so I'm going to just merge those two layers where I added it, the skin with the background layer. And now I'm going to go ahead and change some of the greens and make the yellows and the pink tones stand out even more. And I'm going to use selective color this time. So I'm going to choose the greens and pull them to the left here. And also pull them right here to make them more yellow and maybe make them just a little bit brighter just like that and now while we are at this I'm gonna go ahead choose my yellows make them more yellow maybe add a little bit of this like pink reddish tone to it then I'm gonna choose my magentas and make them more magenta -ish. maybe just a little bit lighter there's a lot of magenta on her face. I'm gonna make it just a little bit lighter. All right, I love this, and this was the before and after on our selective color. So I love how the coloring looks, and now I'm just gonna finish off with some highlighting and shadowing. Again, I have so many tutorials on showing how I do my shadowing and highlighting. I have them just in my actions now because it's something that I do on almost every single picture. I'm gonna choose the background layer and just go ahead highlight and shadow and again I'm probably gonna speed this up and just show you guys the result after.
Alright, so this is pretty much it. I'm just gonna group all of these and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so this was before and after all of the color and highlight and shadow. I hope you guys like this and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any other videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!